Hello, Gemini. Welcome to a, another love reading. We're going to be looking at your person's energies towards you, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are their energies towards you? And then we'll look at what they're feeling, thinking about you, what their real intentions are towards you and potential actions in the future. As always, these readings are meant to be general, Gemini. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest for Gemini spirit regarding the person they are thinking about at this time. For Gemini, please. Regarding the person they are thinking about at this time. So let's look at your person first. So Gemini, I'm going to have you on one side and your person on the other. Um, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. But just to avoid confusion, I'll be saying your person's here and you're over there. Okay. All right. So let's start with your person. Spirit, tell me about Gemini's person. What are their thoughts or feelings towards Gemini at this time? Gemini's person, please. What are their thoughts or feelings at this time towards Gemini? Ooh, we got the golden egg. So someone needs to speak their truth here. Something that they haven't communicated. Can I get one more for Gemini's person, please? The crow. Interesting. So the crow is kind of... um very intuitive energy, um, very powerful energy. The crow can see past, present, and future, so they're very aware. And um, and it's almost like they have this deep knowledge. There's just like this deep knowledge that they have. Oh, no wonder I have pen marked all over my hand. No wonder there was stuff getting on the table. Anyways, and with the golden egg, it's almost like a secret truth that is being spoken so your person if you know they haven't expressed how they feel about you then now it's when they're thinking about expressing how they feel or just telling you something that you didn't know speaking their truth that's a spirit card all right so let's see how do you feel about this person how does gemini feel about this person that they're dealing with. How does Gemini feel about this person? Turtle. So I feel like this, whoever I'm speaking to, whatever Geminis I'm speaking to here, um, you've dealt with this person before. You've had some sort of history with this person in the sense of like time. Um, there's been time between you because the turtle they collect experiences under their shell the more they live and they kind of take those experiences with them wherever they go and they go a lot of places they travel on earth and water and so um, they're very adaptable and they're constantly on the move the turtle um, and they've learned from their past so they they collect these experiences and it guides them in their future so there's something here that has happened between you, Gemini, that causes you to, it's almost like you already know what this person is about in a way. And so that would affect how you'd handle this person, if that makes sense. So let's see, what else? Can you tell me about Gemini's thoughts or feelings about this person? Yeah, Oyster. So you're keeping something to yourself here you need to speak up as well so i feel like there's a lot unsaid in this connection a lot that needs to be communicated so let's get into the tarot and see for gemini please what does gemini need to know about the person they are thinking about oh.
So let's see. For Gemini. Tell me about Gemini's person spirit. What do I need to know about Gemini's person? What do I need to know about Gemini's person? What are their thoughts or feelings at the, this time? Their energies at this time? Well, we got the sun reversed with the three of swords, so they're not doing too good, guys. Someone's upset. Pain and pain or disappointed. Sad. What else can you tell me about Gemini's person? And stuck in the past. Six of swords. Reversed here. What else can you tell me about Gemini's person? So your person stuck in the past, dealing with a painful situation, unhappy, also unclear. There's a lack of clarity for your person. The devil reversed. They could be um, trying to break free from an unhealthy attachment right now. Something's up with my card here. Um, they could be feeling uh, trapped right now in a situation or not dealing with a situation very well. They could have gotten themselves in trouble here. Can I get one more? The world. Okay, so your person's ready for a new cycle here. I'm going to clarify these, by the way. It's the same deck. Um, your person's ready for something new here, Gemini. And I think it has to do with you. Um, I have the King of Cups reversed. So um, maybe right now their emotions are blocked. Their intuition is blocked. They could be trying to manipulate a situation that hasn't worked out for them. Um, their emotions are all over the place with the King of Cups reversed. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Leo, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's something I feel like their emotions have caused them to keep something to themselves. Tell me about Gemini. What are Gemini's energies at this time, Spirit, regarding this person they are thinking about? Page of Wands reverse, so something has not worked out for you with this person. Yep, very disappointing. Wow, you're both kind of like very um, upset, emotionally off balance here. I have you with the Ace of Cups reverse. I have them with the Sun reverse and the Three of Swords and Six of Swords reverse. So it's almost like either you are unable to leave a situation or you're hoping to return to someone here. We'll see when I clarify. What else? What else can you tell me about Gemini's energies at this time regarding the person they are thinking about, Spirit? Wow, Two of Cups. So you really care about this person, Gemini. This is probably like your other half, your partner in crime. No, I'm just kidding. Someone that you really, yeah, you really, really care about this person. I have the Knight of Pentacles and the Temperance card here. So you want to come together with this person and have it be um, a real commitment. Um, you're willing to take things slow. Um, you want a new opportunity and so you want to do it right. I feel again with uh, temperance here, I feel like time. Time is an issue here. Either a lot of time has passed or it's been a long time since you've spoken with this person. Um, something like that is what I'm picking up here. Something with time. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Gemini, please. Help me clarify these energies. Okay, let's start with the Three of Swords. 
What happened here? Why is the three? Tower reversed. Well, someone was trying to avoid a tower moment and it blew up in their face, possibly here. Caused a lot of pain and heartache. There's doubt, frustration, possibly. Um, someone was trying to grow something, make something happen. Um, and I, I think it, I don't, I don't think it worked out for your person. Yeah, they were trying to man manifest something here. Um, and they weren't able to make it happen, I don't think. Or whatever they manifested for themselves caused a lot of pain for you both. Tell me about the sun reverse. King of Cups. I feel like they're keeping their true feelings to themselves about this whole situation. They're not communicating how they truly feel or admitting how they truly feel about you, either to you or to themselves. Three of Cups. So I have another three here for your person. There could be some sort of interference in your connection. Um, or it could be that your person secretly wants to reunite with you. Um, and I say secretly because the sun reverse to me is a lack of clarity, lack of sun, right? Um, darkness. So to me, it resembles things that are hidden. Have the empress reversed at the bottom. Um, there could be, uh, there could be an empress involved here as a third party. This could be, um, a feminine energy that is very upset, controlling, um, a jilted lover. So this is someone that has been left this Empress reverse. But they're stuck in the past. Why? Why are your person stuck in the past? Tell me about this Six of Cups reverse. They want to communicate. They're stuck in the past again because things of, of what hasn't been said. What's this? Yeah, Five of Cups. So there's regret. Regret about what happened. A loss has happened here for your person. What's this devil reverse? There's the devil reverse here. Whew. Higher font reverse. Your person could have been in a long-term commitment that they're breaking free from here. Tell me about the devil reverse. It could also be that they just, if they're not in a commitment, if they're not in a marriage, it could be that they are rebelling against what's expected of them from their family, their friends, society even. They're breaking free of that. Wow, we got the Knight of Cups here. There's a message coming in for you, Gemini. This person is going to talk to you. Either offer you an apology or express how they feel. Have the King of Wands at the bottom. I mean, they're very passionate about this. So what's the world about? This is a new beginning here. What's the world about for Gemini's person? Three of Wands reversed. Interesting. Tell me about the world. It's like, yeah, wow, it's Eight of Cups. It's like your person, um, and look what's at the bottom again, the Empress Reverse. They're leaving an Empress. And I feel like your person was waiting for something or waiting with an expectation and they gave up on waiting because it's been too long. They were possibly also waiting with an expectation that things in their life would get better would improve but it never that never happened for them so let's see what's going on over here with you Ooh, okay what's going on over here why, why the ace of cups reverse why the ace of cups reverse five of wands reverse Oops. Why the Ace of Cups reverse? This is huge disappointment, feeling drained. I feel like there was some sort of drama 
or conflict in your life, possibly financial conflict, or possibly with someone you were in a long-term commitment with, with the King of Pentacles reversed. But I think that that's over, whatever this, this could even be inner conflict, like within yourself. Why is the Six of Swords reversed? Why is the Six of Swords reversed for Gemini? Wheel of Fortune reverse. So there could be some sort of delay for you, Gemini. Either a delay in someone coming back to you or delay in you leaving a situation. Tell me more for the Six of Swords reverse. It's just not the right time. Things are going to feel very difficult right now. Like nothing's working out. Yeah, I feel like you want to rebalance a situation, go towards something more stable, um, less conflict, less drama. Um, you want to progress um, into something that's better for you. That's what the Six of Swords is about. And then I have the Six of Pentacles, which is all about rebalancing a situation, having equal give and take here. You want things to be fair to you. I'm also getting the sense that you want to, um, for some of you, you want to get to this Six of Swords um, either you want someone to come back to you because you want to give to them or you want to go back to someone because you want to give to them. You know, there's a, there's an idea here of, or um, a feeling I'm picking up from this card about giving. I mean, that's what this card's about, but specifically right now I'm feeling the energy of you wanting to give someone something. It could be um, a truth, something as simple as a truth. It could be this offer. Tell me about temperance. I already know what the Page of Wands reverse and the Two of Cups mean. I'm just clarifying the cards where I want to get more clarity. Tell me about temperance. This is Sagittarius energy here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. And we have, um, actually we have every sign here because I also have Wands, the Page of Wands. Tell me about temperance, please. Why is temperance here for Gemini? King of Swords reversed. Gemini, I feel like, again, usually the King of Swords reversed is a very cruel, emotionless, um, calculating energy. They are terrible communicators. They don't care how they hurt you with their words. They usually cause destruction. But because I have this here with temperance, I'm getting two messages. Either you said things that you now regret to this person and you want to make things right. Or I feel like you have been keeping something to yourself. Like shutting off communication here with this person for a reason. Tell me more about temperance. Let's see what else I can get here for you guys. For Gemini. Eight of Pentacles. You want to work on something here. Yeah, you want to work on moving forward, on, on success, on having success, on having things work out here. What's this opportunity? What's this Knight of Pentacles? What's this Knight of Pentacles about? Four of Pentacles. I feel like I feel like you you've been holding back, or someone has been holding back this offer from you. What is going on with my cards? Nine of Wands reverse just popped out. It's almost like you've given up hope, possibly that this offer will come because either you're holding back or someone else is holding back. It's like there's a stalemate here. There's either no communication because you both have cards about speaking. And so it's impossible for this opportunity to take place here. Yeah, I feel like, again, there's silence here with the Hermit. The Hermit is on his own Virgo energy, by the way. The Hermit is on his own journey, personal journey of figuring things out, of seeking answers. And they're not really talking to anybody while they're doing that. 
So I feel like there's this energy of being withdrawn, even though at the bottom of the deck here, even though you have a lot of emotions for this person, a lot of feelings for this person, um, I feel like there's a lot that's being un like this just unsaid. 